Okay, to talk about control devices, we'll use this overhead camera shot where you can see the devices that I'm using. I use three, and they're not all standard. We have a pointing device called our mouse, a standard keyboard, and a special key set we have here. And we're going to go for a picture down in our laboratory in Menlo Park and pipe it up that'll show you from another point of view more about how that mouse works. Come in, Menlo Park. Okay, there's Don Andrews' hand in Menlo Park. And in a second, we'll see the screen that he's working and the way the tracking spot moves in conjunction with movements of that mouse. I don't know why we call it a mouse. Sometimes I apologize. It started that way, and we never did change it. Now, the keyboard in the middle is essentially a standard typewriter keyboard, except for a few special keys out on the side. The computer knows it instantly when you hit one and makes an appropriate response. This device over here is unique to us, and we always have to justify and explain it. We'll do it in reverse order. We'll explain it first. <laughs> it provides for you the one-hand equivalent of what you can do with a keyboard. There are five keys, and normally each finger sits on a key, and depressing any one key at a time produces a character. And any two keys at a time also. And in fact, any combination of depressing, of which there are 31 combinations, 